All right. Hello there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and it is that time of the again where we are doing the Academy Awards predictions. And of course, it'll be for the 2020 ceremony this year. I'm very excited, but also nervous at the same time, you know, to see how my predictions will go. And of course, I have guests with me as well as a couple of welcome additions to this. I'm just going to get to everyone one by one, starting off with uh, Diego Coya. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Diego. I want to thank Tony for having me on. I'm excited to be on this video talking about the Academy Awards predictions uh, for the 2020 Academy Awards. I'm very excited because there's been a lot of great movies in 2019. And I was telling these guys before, but um, so many times during the award season, I've been changing my mind on who's going to win Best Picture and who's going to win Best Director and whatnot. So I have my prediction final finalized, and I can't wait to see what everyone else thinks. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. So thank you, Tony, for having me of, on. Of course. Thank you for being here, man. Uh, next up here is Film Fan 0599. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, is your is your boy your uh your main man of uh, the film fan 0599 here again? And yes, I'm back for another Oscars predictions video. Um, I won last year with uh with uh some other dude named Jason Fletcher. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is, but um, but no. Uh, I got lucky last year. I, I I really did not think I would get in first place last year. Hopefully, I can strike lightning in a bottle twice, but I highly doubt that will happen because I don't have that good um, kind of luck. But, you know, who knows? I hope I do well. And, you know, um, I'm definitely going to go by the stats this time. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm also going to predict the time for Best Actress, too. So, And, oh. and the foreign language film uh, that's nominated for Best Picture will not win Best Foreign Language Film. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Corpus Christi is definitely going to win that. I mean, I don't know <laughs> Next one up Parasite here. who? <laughs> Next one up here is another welcome addition, and that is Andrew Hayes, a.k.a. The Duck. It's your boy, skinny penis. <laughs> uh, nah, it's I almost spit my water out. It's quack, your quack. second. It's your second favorite duck next to Donald. Um, I'm ready to wreak havoc, cause chaos, and hopefully make Kevin get uh, last. If I can't get first, I hope Kevin gets last. Next one up here we have is Auburn Wonder. Hi everyone. Um, I'm going by the stats again. Let's go. I'm joking. Um, uh, last year um, did not go very well for me. Um, as as y'all remember, I, I I went by the stats and, and mm -hmm. his last words. Um, this year I went by the stats a little bit. Um, but but not but not and mostly not. So um. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy to be here, and um, I, I yeah, let us let's, let's do this. Um, yeah. And now, next one up here is Jackson Fulcher. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jason Fletcher. Uh, so last year is my first time on doing anything kind of like this with my buds, uh, Mr. Tony Estrada, Mr. Film Fan 0599, and um, Auburn Wanderer. No one else was there, just us, just us four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, um, but I, all I remember from last year is that I, I, I didn't feel as like stressed out about making these predictions. It was just kind of like, whatever, this year, there's so many different options to choose from that I I, I was so nervous picking these out. But you know, I'm, re I'm ready to get my predictions out there and just see what happens at this point. I'm just really, really excited to get started. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, gonna look forward to this. I don't know what you're I'm gonna, doing you're anymore. Gonna, you're gonna wow, get kicked out with other. I have no idea why I carried that on for so long. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get kicked out with another Buffalo Wild Wings. That's what's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now that I've introduced everyone, let's get this start. I'm just yeah, let's kidding. go. Oh, yeah, just a six. So yeah, if you are watching this, we probably, know how to count. 
<laughs> so you all are probably watching this thinking, wait, tell me, this is six people, right? Well, StreamYard only allows you to have six people in here, but we actually do have a seventh person here. So I'm going to have to remove one of you right now just to bring this person in. And that person is Kevin Falk. All right. Oh, oh I've been talking. Fuck you, boo! I've been talking so much shit guys, before boo! I was actually here. Get no, out! Honestly, it's not even real. I was talking so much shit backstage. Hey guys, it's Kevin again. Of course, very happy to be here, of course, on Tony's channel. Uh, really wish I knew how many options StreamYard had before I considered uh, having seven people rather than six. So I'm stupid. I'm sorry. But because of that, I got to suffer the consequences, I suppose. But uh, either way, can't wait to predict tie for best actor and predict Le Miz to win best foreign oh I'm sorry international feature film uh should be lots of fun for sure and can't wait to beat the shit out of my mortal enemy uh, Jason Fletcher because that's definitely gonna happen just oh, like yeah. last year <laughs> <laughs> okay hey, hey, wow. Bummer. I hope your dad walks in and yells at you. <laughs> I, I really, I really, no, I hope not. That's already happened twice, uh, too many times already today. <laughs> well, well, Kevin, you know, three times, you know, you're out. <laughs> Kevin, um, also, my, 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 my two cats are with me now, so we might, we might have cat cameos. Nice. Oh, shit. Time to sneeze. <laughs> Walk off, Diego. <laughs> Uh, all right, Kevin. Well, goodbye. Get the ego out, Tony. Get, get the ego out of here. No, just get the out. Okay, okay. You know okay, know what? Know what? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. You know what? My pleasure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bring me back in. Kick me out again, Tony. <laughs> Tony, kick me out again. And so help me. I will rain hell on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Got him. So you were trying to go, then? <laughs> Anyways, so we're on to the first category, which is director. And so for director, we have Martin Scorsese, The Irishman, Todd Phillips, Joker, Sam Mendes, 1917, Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Bong Joon Ho, Parasite. So for my prediction, because I know there's been a lot of talk when it comes to him, my prediction is going to be Sam Mendes for 1917. Diego. My prediction is also Sam Mendes for 1917. All righty. Uh, film fan. All right, folks. It's time to pull out my first wild card. I am going to go with Bong Joon Ho for Parasite. All right. Uh, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Andrew's next. Listen, hear me out. You think Sam Mendes is going to win this? Most of y'all who are probably watching. But there's one man who deserves this and is going to get it. And that is my boy, the man Quentin Tarantino. All right. Next up here is uh, Auburn. As much as I love Parasite, I think it's going to go to Sam Mendes. All righty. Uh, Jackson? Yeah, yes, I will also be going with uh, S -S 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 Sam Mendes for 1917. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Sorry. And, now, and now to go ahead and add Kevin. Mm, All right. Kevin. Bakery. All right. So as much as I would love to see Goat Sazy uh, pull out the win here, um, I think wow, it's that was pretty. So stupid. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> the worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> that's the worst. I think it's pretty obvious that it's gonna go to Sam Mendes. All right. Well, I'm gonna be the one laughing. Quentin, Quentin Tarantino wins. I. I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <put> that <laughs> <laughs> Tony, Tony, you you kicked him out at the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the next one up here is actress in a leading role so obviously for this one we have cynthia Revo for harriet we have scarlett johansson for marriage story 
Shirsha Ronan for Little Women, Charlize Theron for Bombshell, and Renee Zellweger for Judy. Uh, this one, I think it's going to be Renee Zellweger for Judy. For Best Actress, I believe the Oscar will go to Renee Zellweger for Judy. Um, yeah, this one's pretty locked. It's Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Kevin uh, goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and just really funny point. It was just like, all right, Andrew, Renee Zellweger, your kid, Renee Zellweger. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, as, as much as I adore Scarlett Johansson, uh, got to give it to uh, Renee Zellweger. <laughs> I think it's the, I think she's the lock at this point. Yeah. All right, and now let's hear it from Kevin. We're not gonna have room <laughs> for Kevin. <laughs> gotta go uh, Adam, I didn't know uh, Yohan Johansson was nominated for this. What a twist. Um, but, uh, I said Scarlett Johansson, you idiot. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, regardless, there's a lot of great options here, but considering how many she's won, I think it's pretty obvious. I'm not predicting a tie. It's going to go to Renee Zellweger. Are you Imagine sure you don't want to predict a tie for Scarlett Johansson and Renee Zellweger? Are you sure you don't want to predict a tie? No, she has like no chance. It's literally just because at least last year. Here's the thing. Oh I'm going to justify no, my no, tie. No, no, no. There's no way you justify There is no, okay, thank God. <laughs> there is no justifying that. Yo, I was, I was like screaming when he started talking again. I was like, Cody, just kick him. Just kick him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is already my favorite Oscar prediction stream of all time. <laughs> Me too. Next one up is uh, oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> actor in a leading role. So for this one, we have Antonio Banderas for Pain and Glory. We have Leonardo DiCaprio for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Adam Driver for Marriage Story. Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, and Jonathan Price for The Two Popes. And for this one, I believe the award is going to go to Joaquin Phoenix. I also believe it will go to Joaquin Phoenix. As much as much as I would love my boy DiCaprio to win, it's going to go to Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> See, if I was Kevin, I would predict a tie between Joaquin Phoenix and Adam Driver. <laughs> since I'm not Kevin, I'm just going to go with Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Jackson. Well, it's obviously Jonathan Price. Yeah, um, yeah. As much as uh, I, love, I love DiCaprio and I'm, uh, I love my Marriage Story couple, Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, it's it's gonna be uh, Joaquin Phoenix for sure. All right. All right so, your prediction. All right. So before I give my actual prediction, I'll just say right now, I really do. There, I I really do wish this was Adam Driver's award. I do think he's the best out of all of them. But for me personally, I really do think the Academy is going to give Joaquin Phoenix his justice, his 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 justice where it has been forever. They're going to give him the award he rightfully deserved last year for a movie that nobody fucking saw. Oh my God! Can't give it to him. Joker. <laughs> Kick him out! Kick him out! Kick him out! Did <laughs> Kevin ever talk about that movie? You should let him talk about it. <laughs> Next one we have here is actress in a supporting role. So we have Kathy Bates for Richard Jewell, Laura Dern for Marriage Story, Scarlett Johansson for Jojo Rabbit, Florence Pugh, Jackson's Lover for Ooh. Little Women, and Margot Robbie for Bombshell. So my prediction for this one, I believe, is going to go to Laura Dern she, since she has been winning a lot of awards. I 100% believe it will be Laura Dern as well. Um, as much as I would love Kathy Bates to win this award because uh, of the ones that I've seen, I think she was the best out of the ones that I've seen, it's going to be Laura Dern. I also choose Laura Dern. My favorite actress is going to get her Oscar. Laura Dern, let's fucking go! Before I make this prediction, um, Florence Pugh, I love you. Please call me. Um, but yeah, it's going to go to the queen, Laura Dern. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, or well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, Jackson Florence wants uh, nothing to do. Okay, with no one scene. asked you a goddamn. Yeah, nobody wants anything to do she's, with uh, she's very disturbed by you constantly harassing her and trying to take uh, Zach Braff away um, from okay, her. But um, anyway. I think it's pretty obvious that uh, with all the awards she's been getting, it's going to go to Laura Dern. Zach Braff, are you referring to the fictional character famous actor Zach Braff on that show BoJack Horseman? 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that, definitely. That I mean, yeah, wait, 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 Jackson. Are you saying you're the reason that he's dead? Excuse me, what? Just you Tony, you can't. What? what? Kick him. <laughs> That's it. We can, what is this nonsense? <laughs> wow. I mean, damn. Now we're here for actor in a supporting role. So we have Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Anthony Hopkins for <laughs> Two Popes, Al Pacino for The Irishman, Joe Pesci for The Irishman, and Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And as far as my prediction goes, I think it's going to go to Brad Pitt. I also believe Brad Pitt is winning this award. My boy, the GOAT, will finally get his award. I'm going with Brad Pitt. I was actually pretty close to choosing Joe Pesci, but I just can't go against Brad Pitt. So I'm choosing Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's finally going to get his Oscar. Jackson. Hello, neighbor. I'm going to predict Brad Pitt. (laughs) (laughs) Poor Tom Hanks. (laughs) Sorry, Uncle Tom. Bra moment. Tom, Tom Hanks seeing her like, well, goddamn. <laughs> well, goddamn, neighbor. Watch Tom Hanks win now, and it's all Jack. <laughs> okay, can I get bonus points if Tom Hanks wins? Bad check, neighbor. <laughs> Excuse right, me, I seem to recall Jackson making fun of me for trying to get bonus points last year, so fuck no. You cannot vote for Brad Hanks. Um, it's definitely going to Brad Pitt, no question. Did you say Brad? Even Hanks? though that should be Al Pacino's award. Yes, yes. Am Brad I the Hanks. only one who heard that? Brad no, Hanks. No, no, I heard that too. Yeah, I, was just, I just chose to ignore. Yeah, because that'd be the tie, Brad Hanks. <laughs> He's predicting a tie. Can we? Look hey, Captain, I, I I recognize that you tried to say a joke, but it was a really stupid. So. Oh, okay. And next up, we have visual effects. So, obviously, for this one, we have Avengers Endgame, The Irishman, The Lion King, 1917, and Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I know the Academy's not going to give it to Endgame. I know Marvel, the MCU movies, don't normally win these. So, for me, I really have to go between Irishman, Lion King, or 1917. And between these three, I think I'm going to go with The Lion King. For visual effects, I'm actually going to go with 1917. So as you all know, this is my favorite category of always when it comes to the Oscars. And um, who our favorite movies nominated? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I just uh, after thinking about it today, and and what's funny is is I saw a clip from this movie today when. <laughs> And God, if I, why is this going to win best visual effects? Why is the Lion King going to win best visual effects? I just, I literally watched the scene today where they did, you know, long live the king. And I'm just like, no! oh God. Oh I'm my like, God. God. Yeah. I'm like, oh God. It, it, the, the rest of the movie. Oh God. I know. It's visually stunning. Shut up. It's never been done before except three years ago with the Jungle Book. And Jungle Book uh, was a much better movie, but yes, um, you know this one actually probably was the toughest one for me because I don't know I would go back and forth a lot. Yeah, but I'm still kind of going back and forth. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. My gut's telling me 1917 is gonna win this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with 1917. I am going to go with my favorite film, Star Wars, The Rise of Scott Jokey. I'm, uh, um, uh, um, I'm going to go with The Lion King. All right. Ooh, this is very interesting right here. Uh, Jackson, which team are you on? Well, the last time I tried to predict an Avengers movie, um, First Man won, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. Um, I was really split between both Lion King and 1917 for obvious reasons for both of them. But, you know, I I have a gut instinct right now. Like as much as I want to believe either one, I have a really just intense burning in my heart that's telling me to predict cats winning best visual effects. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. (laughs) But since that's not nominated, um, I'm going to have to go with 1917. 
<laughs> All, All right, right um, Kevin, which, which team are you on for this one? <laughs> Yeah, this one, uh, as you guys point out before, is definitely one of the uh, tougher ones. There's a lot of great options here. For the longest time, I thought it was even the Irishman could have possibly gone in there. But I've moved past it. Um, and I think just really reflecting on everything and really going through all the possible options, I think it's going to go pretty obviously to 1917 because fuck Lion King! Next up we have is Phil Hedadine. And we have Ford v. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, and Parasite. I've been hearing a lot of talk for Ford v. Ferrari to get film editing. So that's going to be my prediction. So this was a hard category for me to pick one because um, a lot of these choices I can very well see winning um, the award. Like at one point, I thought The Irishman was definitely going to win it. Then I thought potentially Joker. But I'm going to agree with you, Tony. I think Ford Ferrari is going to win this one. I think it would be one of the very few Oscars to win since it was nominated for that much. Yeah, I think so, too. And it's funny. I was the same as you. I was actually considering Irishman at 1.2 as well as Parasite. But Ford v. Ferrari just seemed like the choice they were going to go with. Yeah. So I think that's going to win that. I am also going with Ford v. Ferrari. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, this one was pretty hard, but I actually kind of thought about it, and um, I think they're going to give it to Ford v. Ferrari. I am going to go with Joker. Ooh, nice. All right. As much as I think Parasite has some of the best film editing, not just of this year, but out of a bunch of other movies that have come out in the past decade, um, I think just the the fact that Ford, Ford v. Ferrari has like the highest buzz, I guess, out of some of the recent awards it's gotten, I think that that's what's going to take it. Yeah. But, you know, it's a good movie, so I, I guess I don't care. I mean, I do, but whatever. Now, Kevin. All right, here's the thing with me um, for film editing. Usually when it comes down to film editing, a lot of that has to do with, you know, what is the best chance of winning best picture and things like that. And because I don't think Ford v. Ferrari has much of a chance very much at all, I'm just going to say right now, I think this is the only thing, the only thing, not just because I'm a Scorsese lover till the end, you know, um, I think this is the only thing that Irishman is going to, could possibly win. So I'm going to say Irishman. Okay, nice. I respect that. To be honest with you, I thought I was the only one that was going to go with Ford v. Ferrari, so I'm glad uh, everyone else is with me. Most people are with me on this. <laughs> Next up is original score. So <clears throat> obviously for this one, we have Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, and Star Wars. And considering how much talk I've been hearing about it, I think it's going to go to Joker. I am also going to predict Joker. I thought really hard about this one. I... I thought it was going to be between 1917 and Joker, but I decided to go with Joker because of um, the composer. I can't remember her name at the moment, but she won um, that award for original score for a bunch of other shows. So I think it's going oh, to be yeah. a Um I am also going to go with uh, Joker. Um, I actually considered for a little bit giving this to Little Women. Um, you know... To uh, well, who, who ever Kevin said in the movie preview, uh, but I'm giving it to Joker, Michael Giacchino. That's what he said. Yes. I am also, I am also gonna go with Joker. Uh, well, it's obviously gonna be Michael Giacchino for Little Women. I'm kidding. <laughs> as much as I, as much as I love Alexander Desplat, and as much as I love my Newmans, especially uh, Marriage Story. Love you, Randy. Um, I think right. it's 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 definitely a, a lock for Joker at this point, which and not not bad at all. Really wonderful music. So oh yeah, yeah. Four for that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Hello, hello. <laughs> Pop into the screen. <laughs> wow, a um, lot of lot of options here. I got to say, I really don't know what's gonna what's gonna win here, guys. Is it gonna okay, be DX? Okay, there we go. Hey, be quiet. Stop yelling. Okay. So, in all seriousness, though, I remember for the longest time uh, when people thought 1917 was going to win. Um, but I think we can pretty much rule that out at this point because she's won for everything. So, I think it is going to. I'm just going to go with everyone. I'm not going to be controversial here. I'm Shut just going to go with the same one. I'm just going to go with the safe choice and pick Joker, scored by Hilda or whatever the fuck her name is. Uh, kick me out now because. Racist, ugh. racist, racist. 
Now, next up here, we have is the original song. So obviously, for original song, we have I Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away from Toy Story 4. Uh, I'm Gonna Love Me Again from Rocket Man. I'm Standing With You from Breakthrough. Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. And Stand Up from Harriet. And for my prediction, I think this one will be Rocket Man's award. I predict Rocket Man will win the award as well. I'm going to go a little bit controversial with this. I'm going to go with I Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away. Ooh. All right. Randy. Okay. Very spicy. I uh, considered for a little bit giving it to Toy Story 4, but um, I'm going with uh, uh, Cats. Um, nah, I'm just kidding. Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I love this movie a lot. It's a shame it didn't get nominated for anything else, but it's going to win this one. I'm standing with you from Breakthrough, my favorite film of all time. (laughs) 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 Obviously, I'm joking, uh, but Rocket Man, I'm going to love me again, I think is going to win, which rightfully deserving. It it, it should have been nominated for Best Mm Picture or Best Actor, but it's okay. Man, all the discrimination against The Lion King and Cats for this category is shaking my head. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, I think Rocket Rocket Man for sure. All right. Well, again, I'm not going to go too quick. I'm not going to go too long here. Um, you know, because of how much it's won and things like that. I think it's probably going to go to uh, I'm going to love me again from uh, Rocket Man. I love how he said he wasn't going to go too long, but he went too long. I didn't though. Yeah, that was pretty long. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Also, uh, fuck you. I, 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 uh, I meant to say fuck you before for the Michael Giacchino thing. Uh, fuck you. Wow, you're like 12 minutes late. Wow. Next one up is cinematography. So for this one, we have The Irishman, Joker, The Lighthouse, 1917, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And for this one, I think it's going to go to 1917. I think this will be another win for Roger Deakins. Absolutely, 1917. 100%. Oh, uh, okay. I said, I said, uh, Roger Deakins, the thing was, yeah. Oh, okay. 1917. All right. Yes. I've never been more sure of any award in my life. Roger Deakins. Roger Deakins. Uh, yeah, 1917. As much as I love the lighthouse immensely. Yeah, cinematography in that one is gorgeous. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, Kevin, your prediction. Yeah, Roger Deakins, no question. <laughs> this is the one time he doesn't go over long. Yeah, Roger he Deakins, no question. <laughs> you can, okay, I would understand you. You complain if I go too long, but then I go too no, long. come out. I really hope we did that. This is the category that got him to go here. Next one up here we have is costume design. And for this one, we have The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I think this is going to be the only Oscar win for Little Women. So that is going to be my prediction. I am also going to go with Little Woman. I was really considering uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for a while, but I think this one's going to go to Little Woman. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I I was actually considering that or Jojo Rabbit. I was torn on this a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. I. Right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Getting bold. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I go All bold right. sometimes. You can't. You know. Gotta go no, bold. Yeah. Oh yeah. I. I agree. I agree. Uh, for a while, um, I was going like back and forth between Hollywood, Jojo Rabbit, and Little Women. But, um, as in most cases with these nominations, I'm going with my gut. And my gut is telling me Little Women is going to win. I think Little Women is going to win. Yeah, I was at like a three-way kind of tie. Like, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, which one will be? But I think they're going to go, I think they're going to stick with their um, period piece kind of rule and, and go with Little Women. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Well, at the risk of sounding redundant, because I also was toying with many options here, uh, I I think it's rightfully going to go to Little Women. 
I'm once again alone. Okay. <laughs> alone again. <laughs> alone again. Okay, no one, no one asked you to sit. No one asked yeah. you to kick him out. Can they talk to <laughs> God damn. How many more fucking times am I going to go backstage? I've been backstage like five times in a yeah, row. Fine, I'll go backstage next time. I'll go backstage next time. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. Let's just I the only reason I've been choosing you is because you're the first person I would see on screen. And so I'm like, okay, backstage very quick. You've told me like five times in a fucking row. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what you're saying is you want me to do it again? Yes. <laughs> now, next one we have is makeup and hairstyling. So we got Bombshell, Joker, Judy, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, and 1917. And um, I don't know. This was a this was a very hard one for me. You know, I had to really think it's Bombshell. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually going with Bombshell as well. I thought I was gonna be the only one. Uh, I was gonna pick that, but I'm glad he picked it too, Tony. I'm going with Joker. Ooh, okay, okay, nice. Ooh. I mean, it's definitely I possible. That's, uh, I can definitely see that. Um, in the second choice. Yeah, definitely. I hate to say this, but the only movie involving Joker that will ever win makeup and hairstyle will be Suicide Squad. The winner <laughs> of this award will be Bombshell. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a Bombshell. Yeah, as much as uh. Everyone here, every or every category here is like really well deserving. Obviously, I feel like Bombshell has the most as far as like people talking it up the most. Like, man, Charlie Theron really looks like Megan Kelly and all this stuff. So I, I think it's gonna easily go to go to that. Yeah. All right. So Caden doesn't kick my ass. Sorry, Jackson. Yay! Jesus. Hey, fuck that man. Anyway, uh, who needs him? But uh, anyway. Hey, don't you dare disrespect Jason Thompson. Hey, don't disrespect Jackson. Right, anyway. You have under five seconds to say what the Lord You know what? Kick Christ. me out and bring Jackson back in. We, we need Jackson back. <laughs> what? So you're willing, right, you're uh, willing to take the kick again? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it one more time. All right, fine. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck off, James Bond. Uh, all right. Same what I was doing, idiot. <laughs> I thought that's what you were doing. So uh, again, a very, very easy category here. I think it's uh, it's pretty obvious what's going to win. It's uh, definitely going to be Melissa Mistress. I'm just kidding. It's Bombshell. No, that wasn't wow, even a so funny, joke. Chicken my head. That uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> joke's so funner than any pancake I've ever eaten, bro. I wish I could high five you. Here we go. It's definitely going to be Melissa Mistress. That, that, that was iconic, my friend. That was iconic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, the K is right next to Maleficent, so we get, can we just count that as? <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine I just count it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're here for original screenplay, and for original screenplay, we have *Knives Out*, *Marriage Story*, *1917*, *Once Upon a Time in Hollywood*, and *Parasite*. And um, this one, I was really debating between Parasite and Once Upon a Time. I was. This is actually one of the categories I actually had the hardest time predicting, to be honest. But you know, we, I always say go with what your gut's telling you, and I truly do think Once Upon a Time is going to get this one. So I'm going to go with Parasite for this one. I think I have a really big feeling that's going to win this one. And I just want to give a special shout out to Ryan Johnson. I know he has no chance of winning, but I'm very happy he's on this list. I know oh, he has no chance oh, of winning, yeah. but I'm so happy he's on there. Yeah, I'm glad Knives Out got at least something at the Oscars. Yeah, and especially screenplay, because screenplay for that was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I agree. It was more. Yeah, yeah, it's it's I think it's gonna be once upon a time in Hollywood, honestly. But if Parasite does win, I won't be surprised either. Yeah. Um, this is what I actually struggled with a lot. Um yeah, I was the same. I, I mean, literally, Parasite and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood were my two favorite screenplays of the year. Mm -hmm. So, like, I had a tough time uh, on uh, just going back and forth between them. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like they're going to give it to Hollywood. I'm with my boy Diego on this one. I think Parasite's going to get it. 
Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I know, I know, I know Bong Joon Ho is up against Tarantino, and I know it's, but like, but actually, like, they're really close, though. Like, no, no, yeah, they're, they're very, very like, close. Yeah, they're very close. Yeah. I, I, so, I almost went with Parasite, honestly. I, yeah, so I'm going to go Parasite. So. Okay, Jackson, which side are you on with this one? Yeah, man, it, it, I hate to sound like a broken record like Kevin, but I was really down to these two, and it, it sucks that I have to pick. Um, because I, I love them both, but you know, and I, I'll be happy if either one wins. Um, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my faith in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think that that might do it. But once again, I will not be displeased if Parasite takes it. I will, I will not in any way be displeased. I, I will say this. I mean, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is my favorite movie of 2019. But I actually prefer uh, Parasite's gonna play a little bit more. Mm. I think all five of these screenplays are fucking excellent. Honestly, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. All for perfect, sure. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, if if Knives Out even wins, as unlikely oh, as that might be, be I, I, would, I, I would, I would love that too. Perfect. I would not be, I would not be upset at all. Mm. All right, Kevin. all right, all right. So this one definitely, as everyone said, is a little bit tough. Uh, Parasite was absolutely my favorite original screenplay play of last year but unfortunately i don't think that it's going to get in there but it's not too unfortunate because all these screenplays are great so i'm just gonna go with the majority here and say one fun time in hollywood will definitely win this one all right well by the way Andrew, well okay well, hopefully uh we'll see what happens but if we're right then uh, we uh, just gonna yeah. be awesome well, yeah we'll see Next one up here now we have is adapted screenplay. So for this one, we've got The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, and The Two Popes. And considering how much talk I've been hearing about Jojo Rabbit and all the wins it's been getting for like adapted screenplay, that is going to be my prediction. Jojo Rabbit. You know, I know there's been a lot of recent talk about Jojo Rabbit winning this award, and it may very well happen, but you know what? I'm going to stick with my gut and still say that Little Woman's going to win. I just have a nice. feeling it's going to. So. I, honestly, if Jojo Rabbit doesn't get it, that's the next movie I could see winning this. I think it's between those two. At this point, for me, I think it's between those two. No, yeah, I would agree with you. Once again, I'm with my boy Tony, I'm going with Jojo Rabbit. Okay. You know what they say. They say great minds think alike. And I hate to say this person has a great mind because I just would hate to say it. But Diego has a great mind in this instance. I am going with Little Woman. For a very long time, I thought Little Woman was going to get it because I thought they were going to give it to just because, you know, Greta Gerwig um, was nominated for Best Director. Uh, and also, I'm not saying that because I love Little Woman and I think Greta Gerwig is very talented and that she's a better filmmaker than Taika Waititi. But I think they're going to give it to Jojo Rabbit. There's clearly a lot of love for it in the Academy, so I, I and I think they're going to give it the screenplay one. So yeah, th this one has been interesting. Like as far as like which ones I flip flopped on, uh, it's it's this category. I think about this this best picture and a couple others. But uh, it started off with me thinking it would be The Irishman, then Little Women, and now I'm kind of stuck with Jojo Rabbit, which um, I'm um, I I, I uh, I hope it wins so I get this prediction right, but I won't be disappointed if uh, Little Women takes it all because that was a good movie. But I, I just have a really strong feeling about Jojo Rabbit, at, at least especially recently. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to take this clip of Jojo Rabbit out of context and put it up on Twitter to bash it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> got him. Uh, that was that was yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, um, pretty much echoing what Jackson just said. This one was definitely very difficult. Um, and to be honest, like for a while, I thought like I was pretty dead set on like what was going to be. But considering everything you guys have said, I really do think I'm just going to say I'm just going to go go with, you know, what I think is is probably the most, you know, uh, possible winner and go with uh, Jojo Rabbit for this one. All right. If I were the Academy, I'd pick the Irishman. What's the Irishman? Yeah. Oh, what is the I don't know, but I'm done with Scorsese forever. so <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> I refuse to watch the Irishman, and I'm gonna bash it anyway. That makes so much sense. <laughs> I'm gonna go flip a table now. <laughs> oh no this restaurant i went to forgot to give me fries <laughs> they blew it like the 49ers did <laughs> I, I can't believe i can't believe i had to walk 13 minutes 
For a ride at Disney! Why <laughs> isn't birds of prey more like Alvin Hickok the bird, goddammit? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Where god. was the Avengers Endgame? <laughs> oh, my god. That, oh my god, that's that's way too funny right there. Um, so yeah, next up is a doc- documentary feature. Yeah, yeah, documentary feature. I want to make sure I'm reading that right. Um, so we have American Factory, The Cave, The Edge of Democracy, For Sama, and Honeyland, and um, I know I've been hearing a lot about American Factory, so that's the one I'm just gonna go with. Yeah, I'm literally going with American Factory because that's the uh, one documentary that I've been hearing talk about more than any of the other ones on the list. Oh, I, know, yeah. I know it's not a very good reason to pick for it to win. I'm just picking that. That and Apollo um, 11 are the two documents that I've heard talk about you, but Apollo 11 is not on the list. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I just realized that Apollo 11 didn't make it. Yeah, no, yeah. Not, yeah. But that oh, last yeah, year, really it was the same thing with like, Want to Be My Neighbor and Three Identical Strangers weren't on the list either. Wait, isn't that the movie with Tom Hanks? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why, that's why does the Academy like just like not nominate what people say is the best documentary of the year? Yeah, that, that's weird. It's like, like, it's really 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 odd, to be honest, it is. It's really odd. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't they nominate Quentin Tarantino the first date? Oh yeah, I forgot that that came out. I guess I'm just gonna go with American Factory because I literally. Just, I, <laughs> so I think that movie was actually on Obama's best of the year list. It was. Oh, okay. right, right, yeah. Sure. oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He did have his own letterbox account, honestly, because he has like really good movie taste. <laughs> That'd be dope. Literally, only going with this because it's the only one that I know about, and uh, I know nothing about documentary features, so I'm going with American Factory. All right. Whoa. And that was that was that was out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to go with American Factory. And now Jackson. Yeah, American Factory. Fuck it. All right. I can't wait for Kevin to go five minutes just to say American Factory. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yay. Time to go to sleep, everyone. (laughs) Well, you see, guys. Oh, well, well, you see, uh, American Factory is probably going (laughs) to... American Factory. Oh, my dear. I hope your dad yells at you again. So it's really funny that like that was on Obama's like best list when he literally produced that film. Oh. If you want to know something, man, it's a shameless plug. <laughs> well, I think it's just pretty funny. It is documentary short subject. So for this one, we have in the absence. Learning a skateboard in a war zone if you're a girl. Life overtakes me. Uh, St. Louis Superman. And walk, run, cha-cha. And so for this one, I'm going to go with the longest title, which is Learning a Skateboard in a War Zone if you're a girl. I am also choosing that one. I like a do the cha-cha. Um, I'm also going for the skateboard one because I don't know. <laughs> You know, I'm going to go with the tie between St. Louis Superman and Life Overtakes Me. <laughs> Just to yeah. I'm not stupid. I'm going with the skateboard one. Oh. Uh, I'm also going to go with learning the skateboard in the war zone if you're a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm also going to do the same thing you guys just said. Wow. Oh, oh, oh so, so walk, run, cha-cha, right? Yes, that, that's the <laughs> Oh, that one, that one, yeah, that one. All right, beautiful. He said that one as in in the absence. Make sure to mark it down for that. (laughs) Kick him out, kick him out. Boy, I swear to God. (laughs) Boy, kick him out. There's a mouth, Jimmy. There we go. There should be a rule that we make that every time Uh Kevin gets one wrong, he doesn't get any points. But every time he gets one right, he loses 10 points. (laughs) 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 Yes. So next one we have here is production design. So we got The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, 
1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. And um, this one, I was debating very hard between Once Upon a Time, 1917, but I'll go with my gut and say Once Upon a Time for this one. I also believe Once Upon a Time in Hollywood will win this award. Oh, thank God. I'm not alone. Uh, if I was going to be alone on this, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm going to go Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, but the thing that's interesting is, like, I could maybe see it going to Parasite because, like, the like the house design is, like, a really big part of the film. It's getting a lot of recognition. Mm, yeah. But I think yeah, the Hollywood setting and, like, mm -hmm. the locations they use, it's going to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, that's very interesting, Caden. But I'm also going to go with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, wow! Because, wow, you know, because, you know they, there's just been so much talk about how they actually went to these locations and made them look like the way they did uh, back, yeah, they have, back yeah, then. So I, I just feel like that'll probably take it. Yeah, like they oh, shot yeah. on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. All right. It's crazy. Well, because I didn't get to talk about it for original screenplay because my dumbass forgot. Uh, I really do wish that Irishman would get something, but it's not going to be for this. So it's going to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, oh, wow. What an irrelevant thing to say before you said. But still, love to go to see. Love to go to see. I, didn't, I can't even hear Kevin. It's like really weird. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, good yeah you know, I think it is. <laughs> Once right. Upon a Time in Hollywood starring Brad Pink. <laughs> now we're going to get to the sound category and we're starting off with sound mixing so we got ad astra ford v ferrari joker 1917 and once upon a time in hollywood and when it comes to mixing i think it's going to go to 1917 I am also going with 1917. I believe this will kind of be like Mad Max Fury Road in the sense that it's going to sweep all the technical awards. Yeah. So them. yeah. I'm also going with the 19 to the 17. I um, actually almost went with Ford v. Ferrari because I could see them giving it to that. But I'm yeah. giving it to 1917. All right. 1917. I... I'm going to go with Ford v. Ferrari. Why? Nice. Yes. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with you in the sense that, like, between 1917 and Ford v. Ferrari, this is where I was kind of, like, try, like trying to see where I would land. But I think it, since 1917, like, so much has been talked about how, uh, uh, about how technically impressive it is. It, I think it will uh, land this award as well. But, you know, I don't disagree with get going to Ford v Ferrari or anything like that. Wow man, I gotta say this one's uh this one's really difficult, definitely. I mean there's a lot of a lot of great options here. It actually it's, uh, is absolutely, difficult. They it's had great sound mixes. It's absolutely going to go to Ad Astra. Just kidding, it's 1917. Wow. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad one either. I can't wait for all of you. I can't wait for all of you to be fucking wrong. Okay. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, so it just goes okay. Hey, I'm not denying. Hey, okay, I almost okay. went with four feet Ferrari as well because they do like the mix. I mean, it'd be great. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, it's been it's been it's winning great. a lot of the sound awards recently. I, I mean, sure, but you're wrong. Oh, oh my god! You're wrong. You're wrong. All right, now we're into sound editing, and for sound editing, we have four V Ferrari, Joker. 1917, Once Upon a Time, and Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and whereas you guys are talking about Ford v. Ferrari, I actually think for the sound editing category, I think Ford v. Ferrari. That's why. So whereas I am predict I predicting 1917 for mixing, I do think Ford v. Ferrari will get sound editing. OMG. I know. Very it's shocking. getting spicy. I know, right? <laughs> it's very spicy. I'm actually going to go with 1917 for this one. All right, nice. I am also going with 1917. I think it's going to take home both the sound categories. Yeah, yeah that's why I picked it, yeah. I am going with what obviously is the deserving winner. Not overusing a, this joke at all. Rise of Skywalker. Ha, ha, ha. Just kidding. Our favorite movie, Caden. Yep.
I said 1917. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I, okay, I, did, I didn't hear it there, so that's like, okay, did he say 1917 or? <laughs> that's just an awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't hear him say any title, so I was like, wait, is he going to say it now? Or... <laughs> yeah, I'm, not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but the awkward silence, I was expecting to hear and next on Disney Channel and one of you guys. <laughs> 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 All right, Caden, uh, where are you for this one? Uh, also Ford the Ferrari. Okay, cool. Whoa! What an upset. Side, Tony. I have someone on my side with that one. Yep. And now, Jackson, where are you? With I mean, I'm, I'm echoing what I said for the last category as well, but uh, yeah, 1917, I think since, you know, uh, it's usually common. I, I, be, I believe it's usually common that both sound is like the same movie. I think it'll be nineteen. Yeah, there's yeah. only been one uh, year yeah. where it's been like a different thing, but I think it was it, like yeah. 2015 or something. I think yeah, like yeah. American Sniper won one, and then another movie won another. Okay, okay. Yeah. and then, yeah. and then yeah. the and also, one, I and believe then the um, it was Hacksaw Ridge and Arrival for one of them. Too. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. but yeah, I'm I'm just gonna stick with 1917. Yay! Although I don't oppose Ford v Ferrari. Don't get me wrong. All right, now Kevin. All right, here's the thing. I'm not opposed to Ford v Ferrari either, but I'm going to continue sounding like a snarky, overconfident bitch and just say 1917. I mean, that's literally what you are, dude. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> okay, next one up here is live action short film. So for live action short film, we've got Brotherhood, Nepta Football Club. The Neighbor's Window, uh, Saria, and a Sister. So for this one, I think I'm going to have to go with Brotherhood. I'm going with The Neighbor's Window because why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> I literally have no reason why I picked that one. I just chose that one. We got to go by the most appealing title, right? I, I guess so. <laughs> All right, film fan, are you going to go with Nefta Football Club? <laughs> the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Brotherhood because it sounds like Brother Bear, and I like that movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> all right, Andrew, which one are you picking? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make this very interesting here. Okay. I'm going with the next window. Okay. Ooh. You're on deck. For, for no reason whatsoever other than, you know, uh, why the fuck not? Kaden. I'm going to go with a sister. All right. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Yo, I literally have no idea what's winning here, so I, I don't know. I, yeah. I could be dead wrong. So. No, I don't, I don't it know. It could be no fucking idea what's funny here, so. That's uh, the one that you... I've seen the name of that short the most. That's why I'm going with it. But like, I don't know what the fuck okay. is. <laughs> this is the one that I it literally it's like me flipping a coin. Like, I yeah, I don't think I've seen any of these that. names like ever. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Jackson, where are you with this one? I am going to be predicting my short film, the Doctor Dick Off Christmas Special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 guys, wait, guys. I just realized something. What? what? Where, 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 where's only the lonely or Paul? <laughs> oh my God! Bob, Bob, Bob. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Brotherhood, uh, a relationship that I do not have with Kevin, although I do have it with all of you guys. Yay! Yay! But you, are, you are my brothers, unlike Kevin. But all the friends remain in the end. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, first, first, I'll fuck all of you. Second, um, I know uh, Caden definitely knows what he's talking about because he absolutely saw all of these um, before the Oscars like he wanted to. So um, because of that, I'm not going to say a sister. I'm going to say brotherhood. Okay, boomer. Kevin, it was yeah. literally $11 yeah. to see the short <laughs> film. Bro, like, I'm not going to spend $11 to see that. Too bad, too bad, okay? I don't want to hear any excuses. No excuses, no excuses. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the assistant, and then I'm seeing the black white version of Parasite. Fuck you. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Um, yeah, so all right. right. The hardest one yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it will be oh, for no. Kevin, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,
<laughs> yeah, next one up here we have this international feature film. It has gone from foreign language film to now international feature film. Mm -hmm. And we have here Corpus Christi from Poland, Honeyland from North Macedonia, uh, Les Miserables from France, Pain and Glory from Spain, and Parasite from South Korea. Wait, I and, thought Les Miserables uh, was a musical. Wait, wait, I thought Parasite takes place in China. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so uh you know I, I don't know about you guys, but after thinking long and hard, I think it's gonna go to Honeyland. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah pa parents side on this one for me. Diego. All right, you guys are smoking if you don't think Corpus Christi has one of the bags, but <laughs> 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 no, I mean, that's funny, honestly. <laughs> oh, so funny. I, don't, I don't know what we, you guys are smoking. It's definitely pain and glory, okay? I'll tell yeah. you right now. <laughs> but no, and yeah, Paris. Like, yes, Paris, Paris. We're not as dumb as Kevin. <laughs> you even make a tie between Honeyland and Lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, guys, you're all stupid. Obviously, it's Cold War. What? <laughs> 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 uh, seriously, Parasite. The best film ever made. Honeyland. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. I, I have no idea what the fuck the joke was. I don't even know. It, obviously, Parasite. That was a horrible joke. I'm We're just all making fun of Kevin, Caden. It doesn't. I don't matter. know. That was bad. So, uh, Jackson, I'm assuming you're going to go with Honeyland? Yeah, that, that's the one with Shia LaBeouf, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're thinking of American Hunter. I, I, love, how, I love how he didn't even say the fucking, uh, Jackson didn't even say his answer. Yeah, like, you, know, you know. <laughs> I know. But, but also, yeah, we should just, like, skip this category, just, like, label everyone for <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, and just, also, just write the K down. We don't even need to bring Kevin back. <laughs> honestly, just do it. Fuck it. Yeah, you know honestly. what? You know what? Uh, yeah, I think you're going to say Parasite anyways, Kevin, so I'll just mark you down just to make things <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Kevin. In, in the chat, he's going to write some like, no, I was going to predict pain and glory. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be like, but it's going to be a time. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 guys. Kevin says he has a great joke. Joke plans, so we have to bring that it. is not a joke. So, there's a lot of lot of uh great options here, but I think it's pretty obvious the one that's gonna win Portrait of a Lady on oh, Fire. No, Definitely, is I hate you. No. okay, you no, go away now. Go away. Wait, okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? That That's that's not an option. That's yeah, not yeah, we, know, we know it's not an option. Dude, I, 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 Surprised that France submitted Lady yeah. Robinson yeah. to that though. We brought him on for that. That was the worst fucking thing. Wait, <laughs> 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 right. yeah, wait, wait, because Kevin God, literally said in the chat, and all, Kevin literally said in the chat in all caps, "I had a great joke planned." <laughs> yo, yo, well, yeah, what is the fucking opposite thing? Off. Because that was like one of the worst. <laughs> that was the worst joke of the night. <laughs> Kevin, just stop fucking up with this international film, bro. <laughs> Bro, legit. We brought him on for fucking that. <laughs> I, I, I have to that. It's not even like a joke. It was just exactly things of the better movie than Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We we are getting we're getting near the end, but we are here for animated feature. So for yes. animated feature, we got How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. I Lost My Body, Klaus, Missing Link, and Toy Story 4. And, you know, for the longest time, I've been screaming, like, if we were to rewind uh, six months ago, I was like, oh, yeah, Toy Story 4 is going to win, no question. But honestly, seeing how Klaus has actually been winning, like, it won animated feature at the BAFTA. It's even won, for what I understand, some Annie Awards. So I think Klaus actually has a chance to win animated feature this year. I am going to stick with Toy Story 4. I still think it's going to win Best Animation Feature. So, All right. 
Just Tony, mark it down. Uh, you already know what it is. <laughs> but are you marking it because you love it or because you think the Academy will? I, I actually do think it's it can win. I think I do actually think it's gonna win. I'm just making a joke because you know. Now see if I was Kevin, which I'm not. I'd predict a tie between Ugly Dolls and Wonder Park. <laughs> But since I am an intellectual, I will be predicting the world go to Toy Story 4. All right. I'm still with you, Tony. I think Klaus is going to get it. Ooh, okay, okay. Me, me, me and him were talking about the other night. We, I, I think it's going to get it. So yeah. we're on team Klaus with this one. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I can definitely understand, like, the flip-flopping, because when Missing Link won, like, the Golden Globes, I was shocked, and then when Klaus was getting it everywhere, I was like, oh, my God, for real? Um, yeah. But but in order, but when finalizing my predictions, I actually went to the extent of looking, at, like, through the past, like, Annie Award winners and, like, the, <clears throat> um, like, Golden Globe and stuff like that. And it's, it's not uncommon for the Oscars. It's happened a couple times where they've, gone the opposite direction of what they've gone with. So I think they'll stick to what they do best and give the award to themselves. So Toy Story 4. I'm not going to really go on that long for this one. Um, even though Klaus is a film that I really do love a lot, I just I think it's a bit of a, a neat choice for them to pick. So I think it's going to be Toy Story 4. Okay. Well, Tommy. Well, now I have to root against Toy Story 4. Okay. okay, then I guess we'll see what goes on at the Oscars on Sunday. Yeah, th this is honestly, yeah. this is going to be very interesting because, no, yeah, is, honestly, yeah. because yeah, yeah, like several months ago, I would have been like, for sure, it's going to be Toy Story 4, but now it's like, oh, well, I don't know. This is exciting. Okay, our last like, category yeah. before we get to best picture, which is for animated short film. So, for animated short film, we got Daughter, it's pronounced Desira, but I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that though, so I'm just gonna call it Daughter. Uh, Hair Love, Kit Bull, Memorable, and Sister. And for this one, I've been going between Hair Love and Kit Bull, but I think the Academy is gonna lean more towards Hair Love. So that is my prediction. So I haven't seen any of these, but I've seen a lot of talk on Twitter about Hair Love. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think that's gonna win. I am also gonna go with Hair Love. I am going with Hair Love. I am also going with Hair Love. Before I predict, I just want to point out that live action short film had a, a nominee called A Sister, and this one has Sister. That's really oh, funny. Oh, I, I've actually noticed that. I was yeah. like, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I'm I'm going with Hair Love because there's obviously a lot of hype for it. But also, I saw it. It was in front of Angry Birds too, and it was lovely. I loved it a lot. Yeah, and uh, for me, since I haven't seen Angry Birds a two, I actually watched it a couple nights ago on the U on Sony's like YouTube yeah. channel. So if you guys want to watch Hair Love, it is on Sony's uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, it's very nice, very good. All right, so uh, this one definitely is a little, little bit strange, considering that normally, you know, typically the Pixar short is oh the one that wins. Oh my god! Say what you think. It wasn't a <laughs> Pixar short. <laughs> Let me finish. There wasn't a Pixar short this finish. time around, but of course, Hair Love is definitely kind of like the Pixar short we didn't get. So I think I'm definitely going to go with uh, Hair Love. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, 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 it's interesting. Leave it to Sony to kind of fill the void. I know, right? Yeah, nah, for real. Fucking Sony. I mean, hey, Sony won Spider Man. They took, yeah, they, they, they took the Oscar for animated feature. Now it's time for short film. That's true. Woo. That's true. All right, boys, we're here for the big one. Oh my god! Oh my god! The the fucking the fucking giant dick best, of the ball. That's picture. Oh my god! Wait, there appears uh, a giant film missing. There there appears to be a tenth film missing from this. What what's going on? Honestly, thank oh. God there isn't because there'd be like no space to write all the letters. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, oh oh oh, Jackson, what are, you what are you talking about? The Invisible Man. Don't you see the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that had to. Wait, actually, the the last one's actually playing with fire because, like, John Cena is invisible. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. You know what? I you're, hate you're that right. you made that joke instead of me. I hate you made that joke instead of me. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, very very mm -hmm. bold. Mm -hmm. very, very bold of the Academy to nominate playing with fire for <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
But no, yeah, we're here for best picture. And for the sure. nominees, we have nine this year. We have Ford v. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. Oh boy, I know I talked to Kane about this a couple nights ago, how I've been like really like struggling with this one, honestly. Like I was thinking, okay, it could be 1917. I was even thinking Parasite. And then I was thinking Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And out, honestly, after thinking between these three, um, because I predicted Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for original screenplay, I do think it's going to get best picture. Fuck it. I'm going with Parasite. Nice. nice. I am in agreement with Tony. I think it's going to be once upon a time in Hollywood. Listen, I may sound like Tarantino fanboy, because that's a that because I am going with once upon a time in Hollywood. Listen, I have really, really struggled with this. Like, I cannot even lie. Um, I know 1917 is the front runner, but I, I, I don't think it's going to win Best Picture. Um, so I've been really struggling between Once by Time in Hollywood and Parasite. But listen, I'm with Diego. I, 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 I got to be on that Parasite train. This movie is a fucking, this movie is a fucking masterpiece. I'm, I, I got to keep supporting it. This is its big moment. And I, I, that's why I predicted it for original screenplay, because I think it is going to win Best Picture. I know Roma didn't last year, and you know that was a huge front runner. But listen, I think I think Parasite it got a chance, so I'm gonna go with it. You know, Let's and not... honestly, you never know with the, with the Academy sometimes. Okay, then look, yeah. look. If I could have my moment in 2018, you can have your moment in 2020. Okay, it's gonna listen, happen. Let's but go. hold on, I had my moment last year, and I'm having yes, my moment again this year. Yeah, man, this was. Yeah, literally what Kate said, like, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Parasite, I was struggling yeah. for a while, but also throw in there 1917. It was those top three that was like, yeah. man, I have no idea where it's going to land. And I, I just, I feel like I've been saying this a lot, but I love these three movies, the, these top three as far as the contenders, and I have no problem with either of them winning. And if something else wins, hey, they're all great movies, so I don't really care all that much. But after thinking it over and and... I'm I'm really nervous about this, but I'm just gonna say it. I think 1917 might take it. I don't okay. know why. I just feel like nice. I don't know. I just I've got it. I've got a. I've got a. I've got an instinct in my stomach, and every time I see 1917's name, I think, hmm, best picture, perhaps. The thing why why once upon a time in Hollywood, I was thinking about it so much was because that is a, like a celebration of Hollywood and the movie business, TV business too. Yeah. So they could make that it, but I, I just for some reason it's 1917 calling my name, so I will go to it. All right, um, like you guys have said before, uh, I think it of all the categories, it was between this and adapted that were like the hardest ones for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely, there are a lot of great choices here, and unlike most years. All these films are great. There's not a single film on this list of, of these nine that I don't like. I love, no, not just like, I love all of these. And uh, look, I'll say right now, even though Irishman definitely has my heart because, you know, Scorsese for the win, um, I, I've i ruled out its chances, unfortunately. So between the three, really thinking about it, I really do think it's going to go to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um for many oh, reasons. Right. Now I really hope Tarantino it. hasn't won before. I think that's a big reason as well. Okay. Hey, Kevin, remember when you said you were going to make fun of me uh, because I said the same thing about Spike Lee before? Jackass? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Well, this I one would like to recount Kevin's though. vote here. Uh, make sure to mark him down for Ford v. Ferrari for Best Picture. Listen, oh, okay. Another, oh, yeah. another big reason why I'm choosing Tarantino for director and picture is because I feel like this is kind of like Scorsese with The Departed, where as, as great as The Departed was, this was very much like, thank you for your service award. Yeah. And I feel like Could they're be. realizing while they have given... Yeah, it's kind of like an overdue award like they did for like Leo or something like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, and, maybe. And like while like Tarantino has one screenplay, I feel like they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, let's give him the director and picture. 
All right. Before I do kick Kevin out, uh, we are going to get to the consequences, which uh, Kevin did. Uh, it was all his idea. Oh, oh you, are, 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 you, know, you know what? I know everyone's going to load this, but Kevin, <clears throat> since it was your idea, do you want to read the consequences on this? Week? You know what? I haven't been in this that much, so yeah. Tell everyone, since there's seven people, what's first through seventh place, my sister? All right, so here's the thing. I know we struggle with this every single year, um, and I know it's always like a last minute thing. So I took it upon myself to really think about like, what are some good choices uh, for this one? So we're gonna start off from seven to one. Usually we go forwards, but I'm gonna go backwards here. So for seventh place, um, this one you guys will love a lot. Actually, actually no, we'll go, we'll go in order because I wanna get to that one last. Uh, so we'll go in order, uh, starting off with the first one. So for first place, um, it's pretty simple. Basically, you get to review one. Whoever wins this gets to review one of their favorite films of the decade on either YouTube. But we're also adding Letterbox in there because so many of us have a Letterbox, and that'll give us more of a chance of doing it. Because so many times when we do these consequences, nobody does them. So I think at, you know, um, including Letterbox on there, there's a more likely chance of people actually following through with it. So uh, for second place, which I know Andrew really wants. Me to talk about uh yes, you know absolutely. there's this thing that happens monday i don't know why it's a thing but for some reason it's a thing andrew came up with it it's a torture kevin monday movie monday basically we, we watch one of the worst movies ever on mondays and whoever wins you know uh this second place gets to choose uh a movie for torture kevin monday so yay and uh here's here's the thing though i am excluded from winning this if i win second place uh then whoever wins third place will choose that movie so i'm excluded from doing this because of another one which we'll get to so third place i uh, again had a hard time coming up with this one but i just picked review a film that should have won an oscar it can be from last year it can be from years ago just a film that you love so much and that you really do feel uh should have won some kind of oscar so that's that one okay so i'm a dumbass and completely forgot what fourth place was but uh basically if you get fourth place uh it's pretty simple what you have to do is you know there's a lot of oscar films that are nominated and we're like why was that nominated why and also last year alone we're like why did that win so basically what this is going to be is you pick a film that won best picture or something related to the oscars that you feel is undeserving and you have to watch it and you have to review it so yeah that's fourth place uh fifth place is pretty simple uh because the razzies are coming up basically watch whatever movie is going to win worst picture at the razzies this year however if that person has already seen it you're going to watch one of the previous winners of that uh, coveted award so that's how that one's gonna go sixth place uh, is one that i know all of us are very excited for because i was gonna watch this movie but a lot of us i know want to boycott it so because so basically so you don't do that if you win sixth place you have to review the soon-to-be classic the murder of nicole brown simpson and you have to review it like you can't just watch it you have to review it so yeah that's sixth place and then seventh place oh you guys are gonna love love this one seventh place so of course we have torture kevin mondays on monday but if i win seventh place um I, whoever wins seventh place, basically, I get to choose the movie you watch. And it's not going to be a good one. So, yeah, I get to choose the movie you watch, and uh, it's going to be great. So, yeah, those are all the uh, the consequences we have. Uh, going to be great. Go nuts. Thank you very much for that, Matt. Yes, yeah. So, uh, <sighs> the letter I, I can to wake a up single now. thing you just said, but, yeah. Yeah, I just slept. Wow, that's that. great. I'm joking. I, I listened. You, you did a good job, Kevin. <laughs> I, I did not listen. I was not joking. That is the Academy Awards 2020 predictions, and the plan is to hopefully meet up. I'd say 20 minutes after the Oscars. To We're not April. Kevin, shut. And, <laughs> and then we'll see how many of our predictions are right and wrong, and then that's when I'll show like the scoreboard at the end, and you know we'll basically know our consequences from there. But of course, before I do sign off, I do want to say thank you to. Everyone. One by one, starting off with uh, Diego Coya. Thank you for coming. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Thank you for coming on here, man. And um, where can the people find you? Yeah, um, no problem, Tony. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I was glad to be here. I had fun doing this, and I can't wait to see how everything you know plays out on Sunday. Uh, in terms of where people can find me, I have an Instagram page, uh, Diego the Movie Man, where I post. Um, 
pretty much anything movie related that uh, can be reviews or movie news and updates and all that good stuff. I have a Facebook page, Diego Coya's movie page, and my YouTube channel, Diego Coya. That's where people can find me. So thanks again for having me on, Tony. Anytime, man. Thank you for being on. Film fan, uh, thank it you for me. coming on. And where, pe where can the people find you? Um, in outer space. Um, no, but seriously. Um, no. anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, you can uh, you can find me YouTube channel Film Fan O five nine nine. Uh, you can find me on my Letterbox WWE Fan O five nine nine because Letterbox won't let me change the username for some fucking reason. I shouldn't have to pay to fucking change my username. Whatever. But still, anyways. But you can find me on there. I'm more active there. I write reviews and shit like that on there. So um, yeah. Thank you, Tony, for uh, having me on. I very much appreciate you or the man. You are the goat, the boy, all that good shit. So uh, thank you for having me on once again for another great year of Oscar predictions. Of course, boy. Uh, Andrew, uh, also awesome having you on here. Thank you very much for coming on. And where can we find you? Well, you can find me roaming around the universe as a duck because I am the duck. Beautiful. Quack, quack. Uh, Auburn Wanderer, thank you for coming on, and where can the people find you? Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate you letting me on. Uh, Y'all can find me on my YouTube channel, Letterboxd. Um, uh, yeah, I make music. Uh, it's on streaming services, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, I, I, do, I do better this time because um, last time did not go very well. I was a little bit too overconfident, but uh, yeah. And, uh, Fuck Gavin! Yeah. Thank you. Say it again for the people in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I wish Streamer let us include Kevin just so we could see his reaction to that. He uh, probably, that down he probably right says now. something like, Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that yeah. he sounds like Ugh. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, Jackson, uh, Jackson, Jason Fletcher, I should say, yes. thank you for coming on to this. And where can we find you? Uh, yes, you can find me on my YouTube channel. It's just my name, Jackson Fulcher. You can find me on Twitter. It's at Jackson underscore Fulcher. And my letterbox. It's also just my name. I, I constantly update whatever I watch on there. So, yeah, and um, I'm really looking forward to this today. Um, Basically, just because it seems like a lot of fun to see how all these play out, because you have so many different options. Uh, usually, usually, I'd be nervous because of, of getting like a first place again. But honestly, I'm just I'm just more excited to see how this goes than to be concerned about that. So, yay, yay! And now, thank you yes. very much, Kevin, for being here. And, thank, and I and I do want to honestly say thank you for all the consequences because it was something. Of course, I man. Yeah, I I, 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 I think you appreciate that. Yeah, because it was something I wasn't even going to go forth with this year, but I do appreciate right. you taking the time for that. But yeah, that being said, man, thank you for coming, and where can the people find you? Uh, well, despite the fact that I was not in this all, all that much, uh, definitely this was a lot of fun, as always. I always do enjoy uh, really doing these. And, uh, you know, in terms of where I find me, I mean, I'm on here all the time, so I don't really need to say it. YouTube, Letterboxd, every social media out there, uh, pretty much. I'm, I'm there on the interweb, so uh, definitely – look there but uh yeah so lots of fun for sure looking forward to seeing how the oscars are really going to play out because i mean similar to what jackson said there's so many different ways that this could go and you know many years it's like we have an obvious winner but there are multiple categories this year where it's kind of like you know it could really go either way so we'll have to see really what ends up happening but again lots of fun always happy to be there and to do the results in the first week of april this is 22 Tiger Dude here with Battle 5 and 9, Diego Koya, Andrew Hayes, Auburn Wanderer, Jack Holter, and uh, Kevin Where'd Fall. Where'd Auburn go? All right, I guess I'm including hey. you. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 he's back actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I accidentally pressed the refresh tab. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Good. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't forget that all of us will always have time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He sucks. Fuck you. I hate all of you. <laughs>